okay good evening children okay so today we are going to read the two topics from your beehive book okay first one is the road not taken this is a poem written by robert frost you must have read already can you any can you tell me anything about robert frost what kind of a poet is he what kind of poetry is he has written kis type ki poems likhte hain robert frost any idea no idea okay let me see robert frost is an american poet okay aur jo unka genre hai genre jo writing hai and kis type ki jo poems likhte hain it's all about nature they basically write he has basically written nature poetry he is a romantic poet romantic poet means he wo romantic era ko belong karte hain okay romantic era is where the writers have mostly written nature poetry so he is also a nature poet and he has written his base his major work is all about nature so this is also a beautiful poem written by robert frost the road not taken okay now here this road Okay, first of all, this is a poem where there is a there are some symbols which are used. Okay, like here the road is actually a symbol of choice or life. Okay, road symbolizes different choices in a person's life. Okay, like there are some point of time where you have to take a decision, a decision which can affect your life. Okay, a major decision which can affect your life. कई बार life में ऐसे decision लेने पड़ते हैं and at that time what we have to do is we have to be very wise okay we need to take the decision wisely otherwise what will happen it can affect your life aapka jo pura future hai wo kis cheez pe depend karta hai the decision that you take today okay so here also the writer is talking about such a decision he comes to a point of uh, time in life where he has to take a major decision which can affect his life So what have we learnt about Robert Frost? Tell me first. What have we learnt about Robert Frost today? What kind of a poet is Robert Frost? He is a nature poet. He has written poetry related to nature. Okay, and here what is the road symbol of choices? You can say life also, and the choices in your life, the decision in your life that you have to take, which can affect your complete life. Peter, what happened? Is it properly? Now coming to the first. Is it clear now? Okay. Now let's read the poem line by line. Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. What is the meaning of diverged? Can anybody tell me? Yeah. Divided. Very good. You can say divided or co. Oh, like there's a point. The road is going straight, and suddenly there are two turns, like O. Road is O, or it is divided. For example, this is the road we are traveling on. Suddenly we come to a point where the road is divided into two different directions. So the writer, the poet, he is traveling, and suddenly he finds that the road was diverging. It was diverged in two different directions. It was divided into two different directions. And what do you understand by yellow woods? What does wood refer to? Wood, forest, right? Wood is referred to forest. And yellow wood, what does this mean? Yeah, a forest which is dried up. Okay, where the leaves are brown or yellow in color, and the forest is dried up. Suka hua forest. Okay, so. he found that the road was diverging into yellow woods the forest which is completely dried up i'm sorry i could not travel both the writer says like is it possible for a person to travel on both the roads together nahi possible hi nahi hai ki aap ek road pe do matlab ek hi saath travel kar sako so he says he is feeling sorry for not being able to travel on both the roads at the same point of time 
and he traveled he one traveled long i stood so he stopped at this point who stopped the poet okay he stopped here for a long time because he was trying to make up his mind what he was trying to do he was trying to decide choose or he was trying to make up his mind that which road should i take okay on which road should i travel so b1 traveler long i stood okay where did he stop at the at this point okay from where the roads were diverging into two different directions okay and why did he stop there because he was trying to make up his mind in which direction he should travel on which road he should travel and look down one as far as i could now when we have to find a suitable way for ourselves what do we do what do we do we generally try to look as far as we can so he was also standing at that point and he was trying to see as much as he can okay and he was trying to find what were the two roads offering offering means what were there what was there in those two roads so he was trying to see as far as he could and find out what was the two roads offering and look down as far as i could to where it went in the undergrowth so he found that both the roads were full of undergrowth there were a lot of grass small plants and it was full of growth both the plant both the roads have lot of growth on it dense growth okay this is clear to all of you meaning of diverges to go separate ways divided or forked yellow word is referring to the forest which is full of yellow colored leaf in autumn because of autumn season the forest is dried up and bent curved undergrowth dense growth of the trees so both the roads he found that it has dense growth of trees let's proceed okay now what he does what he did is then took the other one which road he took the one the other one just as fair although both the roads appear to be similar okay there was not much difference in both the roads they both appear just as fair means it was almost similar but he took the other road and having perhaps a better claim he found the other road had a better claim in what sense in what sense the road had a better claim usko kyun wo road zyada achhi lagi because it was not used or traveled by many people usko kaise pata chala how did he come to know okay fine grass was not trodden because the grass was not trodden it was not crushed under foot so he chose the road which perhaps had the better claim that means which was not traveled by many people why he wanted to travel on such a road which was not traveled by many people hum to easy options pe jate hain na ki jo sab kar rahe hain hum bhi wahi karenge sab engineer ban rahe hain to we will also try to become engineer or doctor or to usne aisa kyu road choose kiya which was not traveled by many people tell me okay let me give you an example if there are people who are always following the same path which is followed by many can he stood apart from the crowd because he wanted to stand apart he wanted to be like uh, different from others okay he was willing to be different from others he doesn't want to follow the same path which was followed by many people so that is the reason he chose the one which was not traveled by many people and which had a lot of growth on it the uh, grass was not trodden that is not crushed underfoot 
okay though as for the passing there had worn them really about the same worn means damaged because of the passing of the people some of the grass it was worn it was damaged because it was crushed underfoot which road which was traveled by the people but the one he has chosen it was not trodden did you get me he chose the road which was not traveled by many people whereas the other road has the grass which was damaged or worn out because of the many passing people people who were passing from there clear so just as fair means both the paths looked similar better claim maybe the cho he chose the path which was better for him according to his understanding he chose the path which was better then we are usage we are here refers to used like something which is used and worn damaged so what is worn here the grass and where he is referred to wanted wear means which is not traveled by many people clear this much is clear shall we proceed to the next slide okay and both that morning equally lay now what do you understand by equally lay again appeared the same both the roads appeared same that morning to the poet both the roads appeared same that morning in leaves no step had trodden black he found the road that he has taken there the grass was not trodden trodden means leaves turned black due to being crushed by the footsteps when you walk on something on a plant or a tree what happened they are damaged and they turn from green to black so he found that there the gr uh, grass was still green which means it was not trodden bahut sare log uske upar chale nahi hai agar chale hote to kya hota it would have turned black in color but it was still green that means which signifies that many people have not traveled on it in leaves no step had trodden black oh i kept the first for another day now here the writer is trying to console or convince himself apne aap ko dilasa de raha hai kya dilasa de raha hai i am going to travel it some other day what he is trying to say he is trying to console himself by saying ki i am going to travel on this road some other day but you tell me is it possible there are various stages in life once you have crossed the stage can you come back to the other one never okay once you have crossed your childhood you are now teenager can you go back to your childhood again no if you cross teenage you become adult can you come back to your teenage no so that is not possible okay if you are thinking that you will come again to the same road it's actually practically not possible so he is just trying to console himself kya kar raha hai wo yahan par apne aap ko console kar raha hai console means दिलासा दे रहा है अपने आप को समझा रहा है कि आई विल कम अगेन ऑन दिस रोड येट नोइंग हाउ वे लीड्स ऑन टू द वे बट उसको भी पता है कि एक रास्ता है वो दूसरे रास्ते के लिए जाता है वन वन वे लीड्स टू अनादर एंड अनादर लीड्स टू अनादर सो दिस इज नॉट पॉसिबल टू कम बैक टू द सेम रोड अगेन वन वन सी हैज ट्रेवल्ड ऑन दैट I doubted if I should ever come back. He has that doubt in his mind that he will never be able to come back again to the road that he was thinking of traveling at certain point of time. Clear to all of you? Very clear. So equally lay is appeared same, trodden black, leaves turned black due to being crushed by the footsteps. Now you tell me, what is the theme of the poem? Can you tell me? वॉट इज द अंडरलाइंग थीम थीम यू नो वेरी वेल क्या होता है थीम क्या होता है वॉट इज द राइटर ड्राइंग टू हाईलाइट ठीक है अपने राइटिंग के उससे आपको क्या समझाना चाह रहे हैं उनका क्या आइडिया है वॉट इज ट्राइंग टू टेल यू दैट इज कॉल्ड थीम सो वॉट इज द राइटर ट्राइंग टू टेल यू कैन यू टेल वेरी गुड वेरी गुड okay he is trying to say that whenever you have this kind of situation in life where you have to take a very important decision you should be very careful you should be very wise you should take all your decisions wisely otherwise what will happen at certain point of time you are going to regret for it okay you will feel you will be regretful aap kya feel karenge pashtava if you will not take the decision rightly or correctly what will happen aap ek time ke baad us cheez ke liye pashtayenge 
so he is saying that we should take all our decisions wisely i think one paragraph is still there just show me the book one paragraph still remains which is i think here it is missing out hmm. i'll read it out for you and explain it okay i shall be telling this with a sigh somewhere ages and ages hence two roads diverged in a yellow wood and i took the one less traveled by so he is saying after many years you have taken the decision after many years aap kisi time pe you are going to think about your decisions okay and what will happen i shall be telling with a sigh sigh is deep breath okay it is it may be out of sadness or satisfaction or happiness so he says that maybe after some years i'll take a deep breath out of satisfaction maybe it depends on the situation he is in so i'll take a deep breath and tell people around him that ages and ages hence two roads diverged in the yellow wood he'll tell the people about his decision that he has taken that he has come across two important decisions or two roads in his life and he has chosen the one which is less travel by okay which is less travel by the people and it has made all the difference it has made all the difference it can be both the ways either it can be positive or it can be negative if he is successful in his life then maybe the decision would be right and it will his life would be great he will be different from others okay and if the decision goes wrong then he will be regretting for his decision is it clear to all of you okay let's start with the literary devices you can mark it in your book if you have now the first literary device is the use of symbol symbolism now what is symbolism children symbolism is the use of symbol to signify ideas and quality by giving them a symbolic meaning through symbols the writer is trying to tell you the meaning the deep meaning of what uh, actually what he is trying to convey okay through the use of symbol he is trying to give you the deeper meaning of what he is trying to convey through his writings like here what is the symbol used two roads two roads represent two or more choices in one's life so here the two roads are the symbol for two or more choices in a person's life clear the use of symbol is this next now anaphora have you heard about this literary device before never heard okay let me tell you so anaphora is when you can see this and 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 the word is repeated and where it is to be repeated in the consecutive lines where is the word repeated in the consecutive lines at the first place okay hamesha first place mein consecutive lines means ek ke baad ek it is called anaphora a n a p h o r a this is called anaphora now you will say ma'am this is repeated this is repetition you can also say that ma'am it's repetition because the word is repeated but what is the difference between anaphora and repetition in anaphora the word is repeated in consecutive lines okay one after another but in repetition word can repeat anywhere here 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 anywhere but anaphora is always first place and consecutive lines clear and repetition is it can be a word or a line repeated here and there clear understood the difference okay moving on to the next one alliteration now what is alliteration you have read about vowels and consonants what are vowels a e i o u there are 26 alphabets and a e i i o u are the vowels and consonants are the remaining alphabet so alliteration is the sound of sound of consonants okay alliteration is the sound of consonants hmm like here what is the word which is repeated w wanted where so here w sound is prominent okay 
what is prominent w sound is prominent and it is the use of alliteration clear and in case if the word is repeated here in the center then which literary device would I, uh, it would have been there are two literary devices where we have the sound of consonants okay we have two literary devices where we have the sound of consonants if it comes in the beginning it is alliteration but if it comes in the center or at the last it is called consonants what it is called what is it called consonants if it is in the middle or at the last it is consonant but if it is in the beginning here at the in the first syllable or first letter it is called alliteration clear it's clear to all of you if you have the book please mark these literary devices this is going to come in your exam you have the book with you take out your books and please mark it shall we proceed to the next slide don't have a book next time please bring it okay next now we were talking about repetition we have already discussed anaphora and repetition is the repetition is the a word repeated anywhere like here if you see this line a word or a line repeated here so what is the line repeated in the poem two roads diverged in a yellow wood it is repeated in almost like every second stanza it has been repeated so this is the use of repetition okay this is repeated so is the poem clear to all of you very clear any doubts you can ask otherwise we will move on to the next next topic shall we is the slide clear we have already read this hmm okay so can anybody tell me what kind of a lesson or story is this Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. 57 uh, what what do we call it what kind of a story futuristic this is a future is uh, story because we are talking about the future generally we have uh, read in various stories about the past people go into the their past lives okay but this story revolves around future okay so how can we imagine what can be the scene in 2021 uh, 57 what can be the what uh, the world would look like can you give any idea like way back way back like around 20 years back if you go can anybody imagine that we will have mobile phones where we can see and talk to people in any part of the world we can never imagine so right now at this point of time can we imagine that there is a school which is completely run by the robots there is no teacher everything is done the children are taught by the robots and there's a slot where you can enter your homework and assignments and within no time the computer is going to give you the results so we are talking about such a time where there are no schools like this where we have right now as we have right now but the school will be altogether different so there's a girl called margi okay so this is the kind of school it will look like in 2057 okay 20, 2157 sorry okay so this is like here you can have all these devices a robot who will be the teacher then you will be having this machine where you will insert your homework then this is the whole uh, room which is full of very 
uh, advanced devices which will help be helping you in your studies so the story we shall read is set in the future when books and schools as we now know them will perhaps not exist so all these books specially will not exist at that point of time how will children study then so how are the children going to study we are going to read in this story which is a very fun story you will learn reading that okay now who are the two central characters in the story can you tell me tommy and margie tommy is how old 13 and margie is 11 so now what has happened margie has uh, she is she's writing in the diary and the date in the diary is 17th May 2157 okay what is the date that she is writing in her diary 17th May 2157 and she writes today Tommy found a real book okay Tommy is his neighbor or friend okay and they share a good repo so she says that Tommy has found a real book it was a very old. Margie's grandfather once said that when he was a little boy, that time his grandfather, that Margie's grandfather's grandfather has told her, told him that there was a time when all stories were printed on paper. So Margie's grandfather's grandfather told her that there was a time when the paper, when the stories were printed on paper and how are these children reading it through ebooks they have ebooks where the word move on the screen so it was quite like shocking for her to know or to think that there were books where the words are printed they turned the pages now they got this book finally who has got this tommy where has he got? On the attic. Attic is a small room on the roof. Okay. So they turned the pages. They started reading the pages which were yellow and crinkly because that was a very very old book. So the pages were yellow and it has folds on it. Crinkly means it has folds on it. And it was awfully funny to read words that stood still. And for them it was highly funny. Why? Because for the first time it was happening that they were reading the book where the words were not moving. They were still ek hi words move nahi ho rahe otherwise normally when they used to read it used to move the words used to move okay and then when they turned back to the page before and this is also very interesting for them that when they were turning the pages the words were as it is wo change nahi ho rahe otherwise on the screen what used to happen the words would change okay it may disappear and some other new words used to appear on the screen Okay, so his grandfather's grandfather told him that there was a time when all stories were printed on paper. They turned the pages, they were yellow and crinkly and it was awfully funny. So this we have read. Now, Guy said Tommy. Now what is this Guy? Expression of a little, full of a little of hatred we can say. Guy is an expression of hatred. Said Tommy, what a waste. So he found this book highly disinteresting because he found it very it's a waste of paper and money because after reading this book you cannot store as many books as you can store in your computer so he says Guy said Tommy what a waste when you are through this book you just throw it you have to throw it because you cannot store thousands of books in your home I guess our television screen must have had a million books on it and it good for plenty more so how many books he has stored in his screen Thousands of books, millions of books. I would throw it away. But after reading this book, I have to throw it away. Same with mine, said Margie. She was 11 and hadn't seen as many telebooks as Tommy. So she was 11 years old. And she has not seen as many books as Tommy because Tommy was elder to, elder to Margie. So she was just 11. So Tommy has seen many books as compared to Margie. Margie was scornful. School, what's there to write about school? 
Now this whole book was about school. So Maggie hated school literally. Why she hated the school? Because the atmosphere where she was learning, it was highly boring. Okay, it was there was a robot where she has to sit alone and study alone. It, the robot will give the lecture and ask for question answers and like assignments. So that was altogether a different atmosphere which Maggie hated. Okay, she did not like the kind of school in which she was studying. So she said, what is there to write about the school? When Tommy told that this, is, this book is all about the school, so she hated the idea and she asked, what is there to write about school? Margie always hated school, but now she had hated it even more than ever. The mechanical teacher had been giving her test after test. What is the, why she started hating the school even more? Because her mechanical teacher, okay, the robot, was giving him, giving her test after test. And with every test, she was getting worse and worse. Okay, worse until her mother had shaken her head sorrowfully. So, mother was highly sorrowful and she wanted to know the reason behind so whom did she call the county inspector so finally she called the county inspector the inspector had smile after he was finished and patted margie's head so he came the county inspector came and he examined the computer and finally he patted patted means thapki dena okay uska sar thap thapaya and he said he said to the mother, it's not the little girl's fault. Margie ka fault nahi hai. Why? Because she was doing well according to her age. There was a problem in the mechanical teacher. Okay, what has happened? Uh, Mrs. Jones, I think the geography sector was geared a little too quick. So, that sector where they have this slot for geography, it was geared a little too fast. And so, it was giving her test not according to her age, but according to the age of a person who is like more in years as compared to Margie. So that is the reason she was not getting good marks. So now he says that I have slowed it up to an average 10 year level. So he told that I have repaired it and I have set the age according to a 10 year child. Actually the overall pattern of her progress is quite satisfactory. Uh, satisfactory. So as like she tells, he tells um, Argy's mother that the pattern of Margie's growth is satisfactory and it is not the fault of Margie. And he patted Margie's head again and he went away. Margie was disappointed. Now she was expecting that for some days this person, county inspector, is going to take the mechanical teacher away because it has happened once with Tommy's teacher. Okay, Tommy's teacher was also not working well. So, county inspector took it for a few days and that time she was he was free from studying. So, she was also expecting that this man will take the county, sorry, county inspector will take the mechanical teacher and then she don't have to, she doesn't have to study for at least for a few days. But this doesn't, this doesn't happen. So, she was highly disappointed. Tommy looked at her with superior eyes because it's not a kind. Okay, so here, Maria was disappointed. She had been hoping that they would take the teacher away altogether. They had once taken Tommy's teacher away for nearly a month because the history sector has blanked out. Now they started talking about the kind of school that they were studying in and how different it was from the school that was there in the olden times. So Tommy looked at her with great superior eyes. Why he was feeling superior at that point of time? Because elder, but that is not the only reason. He has more knowledge about this kind of school. Okay, he has already read about because he is elder. So, he has um, like read more books and he has more idea about that kind of schools. Okay, so he says, Tommy looked at her with superior eyes because it's not our kind of school. Stupid, just like somebody who is very who's junior to us, we take them very lightly. So, she, he also took uh, Margie lightly and referred to her as stupid. This is the old kind of school that they had hundred and hundred of years so uh, years ago. So he is trying to explain Margie that this is not the kind of school which we are studying in but this is an old school, old kind of school which were there at what time? Hundred and hundred years ago. 
he added loftily pronouncing the words carefully centuries ago and then finally he stressed on the word centuries ago now at this time margi felt really hurt because why she felt hurt no actually she doesn't know much about those kind of school okay well i don't know what kind of school they had all that time ago she read the book over his shoulder for a while then said anyway they had a teacher okay so she tried to read it and then finally she tried to convince herself by saying whatever kind of school it may be but there was a teacher okay so uh, tommy told told uh, margi that it is not a teacher like we have it is not a mechanical teacher but it was a man it used to be a man a human being a man how could a man be a teacher so she was not ready to accept the fact that a human being can be a teacher because according to her a human cannot have that much knowledge so he questioned well he just told the boys and girl things and gave them homework and asked them question so this man who used to be a teacher in the olden times would do everything just like their mechanical teacher they it do so same way the human beings also they do it in the olden schools a man isn't smart enough so what is uh, margi trying to say here that a man cannot have that much knowledge or it cannot be or he cannot be that much smart as our computer or the mechanical teacher is sure he is my father knows as much as my teacher so he replied it's possible because my father has also the same kind of knowledge as much as a computer or as a, as much as your mechanical teacher has he uh, he knows almost as much as i betcha betcha is referred to it's an informal ter term for bet you bet you so i can bet that he knows as much as a mechanical teacher knows margi wasn't prepared to dispute so at that point of time she was not ready for any sort of argument because she has no idea about those sort of school okay dispute here refers to any sort of argument okay argument means kisi bhi tarike ka jhagda ne actually debate ha debate you can say uske sath kisi bhi disagreement nahi karna chahti thi because she did not have that much knowledge about those kind of school i wouldn't want a strange man but she has she has to put her point there she says that i don't want any stranger to come inside my house and teach me so again tommy screamed with laughter he started laughing and he said you don't know much vaagi the teachers didn't live in the house they had a separate building okay so he replied that the teacher is not coming to our houses but there's a altogether separate buildings where all the children they go and study together they had a special building and all the kids went there so all the kids who belong to the same age group they go there and learn the same thing sure if they are the of the same age but the thing is they all should belong to the same age but my mother says a teacher has to be adjusted to fit the mind of each boy and girl so again she has to uh, put her point that my mother always says that a child should learn according to her age okay and how is it possible that all the children sitting in the same room belong to the same age group just the same they didn't do it that way then if you don't like it you don't have to read the book now the now tommy was highly irritated so he said to margi that okay if you don't believe in this then you better not read the book i didn't say i didn't like it margi said quickly she wanted to read about those funny schools because she was desperate to read about those funny schools so she said no it's not like that that i don't want to read the book i also want to read it they weren't even half finished when margi's mother called margi school so now they were reading the book and they could have only finished half of it who called them margi's mother she interrupted she came and why did she call margi because it was the time of her school she has to go to her school and where was the school next to her bedroom okay in her house only margi looked up not yet mama so she screamed no mom i don't want to 
uh, study right now. So she said, not yet, mama. Now, said Mrs. Jones, and it's probably time for Tommy too. So she did not listen to Bargi and she said, no, this is the right time and I hope this is the time for Ma Tommy also to go to his school. Maybe he's, uh, Margie said to Tommy, can I read the book some more with you after school? Now, because she was desperate to read the book, she found it very funny and interesting. So she requested Tommy that after the school can we read the book. So Tommy, maybe, with nonchalantly, now what do you understand by this word? Nonchalantly, wait a minute. Hmm. What is the meaning of this word? Nonchalantly. Any idea? Maybe he said nonchalantly. Disinterestingly, without showing any interest, as if he was irritated, he was not showing any interest in what. Uh, Margie was what Margie was saying to her, saying to him. So he did not show any interest, and he said maybe he walked away whistling, and he went away from there whistling. The dusty old book tugged beneath his arm, and he took the book beneath his arm. Okay, that was an old and very dusty book. Margie went into the schoolroom, and now she went to the schoolroom. It was right next to her bedroom. Where was the school? Next to her bedroom. Children, all these things you should underline and you should know because you know very well nowadays we have so many MCQs in your literature and these kind of questions may appear there. Okay. So, it was next to her bedroom and the mechanical teacher was on, it was already on, it was switched on and waiting for Marky to come. It was always on the same time every day except Saturdays and Sundays. So, she has the same time for the school. It was a regular timing except Saturday and Sunday. Margie did so with a sigh and now when she entered to the school room, the first thing that the computer asked was her assignment and homework. It ordered Margie to put the assignment and homework in the slot that was there. Margie did so with a sigh and she did it with a sigh means deep breath. Okay, out of, we have learned this word a while ago. What does it mean to take a deep breath? It can be out of satisfaction, out of happiness, out of irritation, okay. So, he, she took a deep, uh, deep breath and with a sigh, she was thinking about the old school. Now, she started, her mind was distracted. She was not able to study that day because she was thinking about the old kind of school they had when her grandfather's grandfather was a little boy. All the kids of the whole neighborhood, she was thinking how much fun they would have when the all when all the children living in the same neighborhood, they will go laughing and shouting in the schoolyard, sitting together, learning, eating together. And at the end of the day, they will come home together. They learned the same thing so they could help one another with the homework and talk about it. Even children can share their homework and help them help each other. And the teachers were people. The most exciting part was that the teacher was not a mechanical teacher but a real human being. The mechanical teacher was flashing on the screen when we add fractions. So she, there was a boring monotonous lecture going on on the computer screen where this was the lecture of mathematics and she was learning fractions. Margie was thinking about how the kids must have loved it in the old days, she was thinking about the fun they had. What actually was going in her mind was how these children at that point of time enjoyed the school and they had so much of fun. Lesson is clear, very clear. Okay, we still have few minutes. So, I am giving you one question. Take out a copy. You will be writing the answer for that. Hmm. First question. Let's write at least two today. Word limit is 40 to 50 words.
just a moment. Okay, right. Where had Tommy found the book? Where had Tommy found the book? And how was it different from the book Margie and Tommy were used to? Where had Tommy found the book? Question mark. How was it different? How was it different from the books Margie and Tommy were used to? And how was it different from the books Margie and Tommy were used to? Next one more. Different from the books Margie and Tommy were used to were used to next one what uh, wait a minute just a minute why had margie start started hating why had margie started hating why had margie started hating her school why had margie started hating her school are the answers known to you or shall we discuss it first tell me the first question and the answer if you know what is the first question So where has he found the book? In the attic. Okay. Where has he found? In the storeroom in the attic. It was, what kind of a book was that? Real book which was very old and had and the paper and had it was crinkly. Paper was yellow and crinkly. And the other part of the question is how was it different from the book? One at a time, please. Yes. Uh. Mm -hmm. Where the letters keep on moving, moving. And there the letters are printed. If they turn the page, they find the letters as it is. Whereas on the computer screen, it keeps on moving, changing. Okay, next one. Mm -hmm. Tell me. And her performance was going down and down and down. Hitting the, okay. What was the real reason behind? Hmm? What was the reason behind her performance going down? One at a time. Girls will answer this one. Yes. fast. It was not geared up according to the level of a 10 year old child. It was going too fast. Okay. Second question. What is that? You have done that? Okay. Start writing. You have only 5-7 minutes. Quickly do it. Both. Both. You have to write. If you have doubts, please feel free to ask, okay? You have 
टीचर एंड विद स्कूल बेटा कैंपियन यू सेंट जोजफ स्क्वेड कोलार एंड यू बोथ सेंट थॉमस सेंट यू आर इन मदर टेरेसा रियली आई हैव नेवर सीन यू बिफोर अच्छा नेम हाँ आदित्य आदित्य तामक ओके हार्दिक तामक ओके फाइन यू राइट 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 व्हाट वाज इस ओके आफ्टरवर्ड्स यू राइट द आंसर आफ्टरवर्ड्स ओके राइट द आंसर Then both the answers. Okay, read out the first one. Speak loudly, please. It was not geared up according to the use that term better, which is used in the book. Now, if you use those terms, you fetch better marks. So the term is it was not geared up according to the level of a ten-year-old child. Okay, done. Second one, read. Second one. Verse and verse. Okay, the term is the term used is his performance was going down and uh, performance was getting worse and worse. Okay, what is the second part of this question? Started hating. Okay, fine. Hmm. What about you two? Better don't start your answer with because. First, write. Okay, Margie started hating her school because the mechanical teacher used to. Now, what have you written? Just read it, but first one, first one. Loudly, loudly. Uh. Okay, fine. The Tommy. Do we say the Tommy? Tommy. We never put the in front of proper noun. Hmm. 
uh, that is one of the points that he has included in the answer that it cannot store much uh, or they cannot store as many books as they can store in the ebooks okay any doubts related to the lesson that we have learned the poem today already you people have given half yearly so i think it's very well understood by all of you okay now in the next class we are going to take up uh, take up one more poem and one lesson from your uh, the other book moments okay in the next class okay so this is all for okay fine this is all for today's class thank you